Welcome back to Real Repairs for Real Customers. I thought it would be nice to round out our discussion of the double needle blind stitch by showing it in a short segment used on vinyl. And this time, let's repair a blind stitch with our blind stitch. What a concept, right? Let's go to work. This single seam line is your blind stitch. It's probably the most common stitch you will find. It's the center stitch in the French seam. This is the one we'll be repairing today. It is a very soft vinyl and it's the rear seat of this luxury Lexus, which is the sports package, which has some beautiful leather appointments in it. Though of course I would normally use black thread here, I'm using a beige thread so that you can see my work. And if this vinyl stretches too much, it's just possible that we will see the thread and it won't be a total blind stitch. But if that's the case, I want you to see it and then we'll see what we can do to rectify the situation if the stitch is still visible. It was a surprise to me that the rear seat was vinyl and that this was the most flexible or stretchy vinyl I've ever seen in a car. We have a full description of the double needle blind stitch in part one and part two. There is little that we can add that's new although vinyl does present some challenges of its own. The position of this stitch is also challenging. A seam in the middle of the panel is usually held down to the foam by means of hog rings or sometimes even velcro. And this creates a valley. As you can see we are stitching deeply in the valley trying to maintain the valley in this repair. In some scenarios, the blind stitch will actually eliminate the look of the valley because you'll be pulling one side directly across to the other side and flattening out that little recessed area. So it was important here that we started deep in the valley and then gradually came out uh, around our damaged area to try to keep this recess as deeply as possible. And for vinyl, you can use either the round tip needle or the chisel point or flat tip that you use on leather. Either one will work because the vinyl pierces so easily with the round tip anyway. Repairing a seam along the straight side of a seat is quite easy. But the question is, how is it going to repair when the seat curves down towards the floor? Will this bend impact our stitch at all? Well, we'll have to wait and see. We'll find out how this works. Notice as we're stitching along, we're compressing the seat to relieve the pressure. This way, of course, we don't rip the hole right out through the edge of the vinyl. What I fully anticipated here is that this stretchy vinyl would cause the holes to open wide or elongate. And if they do, you will see this lighter color thread in there. And as we get along, I'm sure that's going to happen. Even now, you can see some of the thread there in our finished stitch line. And now, I have thread on one side that's not necessarily going into the exact same hole. And here we are. It sort of misses the hole a little bit and spreads out the thread. So I'm going to back up, pull that out, and make sure we're both uh, threads are in this exact same hole as much as possible.
Now we can begin to taper our repair toward the center line. Of course, here is where we make our square knot. Initially, two wraparounds. And then we bury the tail of our square knot. And as we do so, we hope that we can turn that knot underneath. Now that I'm through with the demonstration, I can blacken the thread. If the weather was cold and the vinyl was a bit stiff, or if you had a heavier weight vinyl, it might create more puckering here where you pulled the seam. So the vinyl will soften and flow out nicely with the heat gun. It wasn't necessary on this particular soft uh, vinyl, but just showing it here so that you know that that's uh, a possibility when you encounter that situation. Thanks for watching. I certainly hope that this series on the double needle blind stitch is helpful for you as it was helpful for me over the years. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you're not getting notifications, ring that bell.